Hubert hurries back to school. The Hatter family were having a great summer. Mummy and Daddy Hatter and their children, Hubert, Fiona and Beatty, loved being at the seaside. At lunchtime, Daddy Hatter announced the picnic menu. Today at the Beachside Bistro we have shrimps with chocolate spread, runny cheese with peanut butter and a mountain of caramel candies. Hubert, Fiona and Beatty rubbed their tummies and said, Yummy! Yummy! We, we love, love being, being on, on holiday. holiday! Later, Mummy Hatter had a great idea. How about an evening swim for all you little lovelies? One, two, three. Where's my cozy? Four, five, six. Jump in quick. Hooray! Shouted Hubert, running into the water. The family splashed around in the sea under a moonlit sky. Hubert had a lot of questions. Dad, why do stars shine? Mum, what is space? Does anyone know what day it is today? I don't know, said Dad, looking at the sky. I don't know either, said Mum, counting the stars. I think it's Monday, said Fiona. Monday, said Hubert with a start. But, but, if today is Monday, then tomorrow is Tuesday. School starts again on Tuesday. Suddenly, Hubert looked very worried. He was not like his parents. He was very organised and he always liked his hair to be neat. But what he hated most of all was being late. Now Hubert was too worried to swim or gaze at the stars. All he wanted to do was to get home in time for the first day of school. Hubert shouted, Quick, get out of the water everyone! He started hurrying everyone up. Go, go, go! Pack the swimming costumes. Chop, chop! Everyone in the van. We only have one night to get home. So quick, 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 Mum! Start the car! As soon as they set off, Beatty and Fiona fell asleep. But Hubert was counting kilometres. He didn't sleep all night long. 400 miles. 200 miles. 100 miles. He kept groaning. Oh no, this is a disaster. We'll never get there in time. Stop fussing, said Daddy Hatter. Stop worrying, said Mummy Hatter. But it was no good. When Hubert got stressed, nobody and nothing could calm him down. The Hatter family travelled all night long and finally arrived back in the city. Mummy Hatter said proudly, there you go, Hubert, love. You are in plenty of time for the first day of school. But instead of feeling relieved, Hubert said, Oh no, this is a disaster. Just look at me. I can't go to school in my beach shorts, my sandals and my spotted t-shirt. Don't panic, said Dad. I'm sure we can find you something to wear in one of the suitcases. They all started looking. Found something? called Mummy Hatter. Your lovely flowery shirt. Or your super cool surfer shirt, said Fiona. You look, look great. great, they all said together. Hubert didn't agree. Oh no, I won't. I can't go to school dressed like a clown. I need something smart to wear. Quick, we need to find a shop. At that time in the morning, all the shops were shut. All except Mr Ritchie's boutique. Hubert looked around the shop and said, I found something. He tried on a checked suit and looked at himself in the mirror. It fitted him well and it looked smart. Hubert thought he looked perfect. He chose some perfume that smelled nice and a pretty gold coloured comb. Now he looked good, he smelled good and his hair was neat. Hubert was ready to go to school. They had been so busy that nobody had noticed the time. Hubert had just five minutes to get to school.
The hatters hurried through the streets. They jumped over dogs, bumped into passers-by and zigzagged through the traffic. They could hear the school bell ringing and they saw the gate slowly closing. Wait, called Hubert. I'm coming. Phew! Hubert got in just in time. The other children were already sitting in the classroom. Hubert kissed his parents goodbye. He said in a quiet voice, Next summer, we'll take a calendar. Well done to Hubert for looking so smart on his first day of school. Let's hope he will be on time for his second day. The End <laughs>